The holidays are upon us, all right? So there's going to be some tequila buying, right? You guys got to come into the world of tequila. It's the best spirit there is. It really is amazing. I just want to tell you a couple things, okay? So tequila is a mezcal, all right? Remember that. It's in the family of mezcals, all right? It's uh, not cooked in the earthen pit, though, like a mezcal. It's cooked above ground. It's steamed, right? That's how it's actually cooked, all right? There's two regions. There's the valley, which people call the lowlands. There's the Los Altos area, where people call the highlands, a few hours away from from each other, all right? The soils are different in the lowlands. There's a black volcanic soil more so. Up in the highlands, it's more of a red oxide, uh, iron oxide soil. It gives you a fruitier, uh, sweeter, more floral, more buttery type of appearance and taste. And that's compared to the valley area with the dark soil where you're going to get more of an earthy, masculine, you're going to get more of an herbal, uh, spicy, a bolder type tequila. They're both amazing though. You know, they really are. So, you know, there's five expressions of tequila and there's two types. All tequila has to be made with blue Weber agave, only that out of the... 50 to 100 agave plants that there are in the world that mezcal can use a lot more of them. Tequila has to use blue Weber agave. A mixed dough only has to have 51% of blue Weber agave in it to be able to be called tequila. And that's like fugazi, if you know what that means, you know. So you don't want mixed dough because for the same money or less, you can get 100% agave, which is the other type. So that's 100% and that's all blue Weber agave. But be aware that the CRT lets you use 1% of additives. So the brands that are crappy brands, usually in those pretty bottles, which you don't want to buy a tequila from a pretty bottle, you don't want to buy those type of products because they use the 1% additives and they alter it. They change the taste. It's phony. It's fake as far as I'm concerned. It's not what tequila is supposed to taste like. You know, the five expressions now are Blanco, Reposado, Añejo, and Extra Añejo. Okay. So it all depends on how long it's aged in oak barrels, all right? So the Blanco's not aged. It can be rested for up to two months or less in oak. A lot of them don't do that. It's bottled directly from the still, you know, which is the way I like it. Reposado is two months to one year rested. Añejo, one year to three years aged in oak. And extra Añejo is three years or more. Then there's the Hovan category, which is basically a Blanco that is blended with some aged expression, okay? So that's what a Hovan is. And basically, you want to buy additive-free tequila for so many reasons. You know, you know, I know we all eat additives in our food, but when you're going to spend this kind of money, $60, $100 or more on, on a good tequila, why have it taste fake and phony and be uh, adulterated, you know, with uh, flavors that they think you're going to like? Drink the real stuff, and it's usually less money, too, you know? And like, again, the ones in the fancy bottles are almost always adulterated, all right? So drink what you like, but know what you're drinking, all right? So this is Lou Agave. Long Island Tequila. Check out my social media and happy holidays.